tonight's episode of Beyond Focus TV. I'm Lydia Patel, and as always, I have a very special guest for you, Terrell Ebony, who's a life and business strategist. She'll be with us for the next 30 minutes, so stay with us. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. Beyond Focus TV allows you to discuss contemporary topics affecting the Caribbean people on both the national and local level. The show features informed guests who offer insight, debate, and evaluate various issues. Beyond Focus TV builds on the station's mission to provide useful information to the Caribbean people in New York and abroad. Beyond Focus TV, where our viewing audience can get educated, informed, and empowered. Welcome back. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. I'm Lydia Patel, sitting here with Terrell Ebony, life and business strategist. Terrell, welcome to the program. Thank you so much for having me. Well, it's great to actually have you here, life and business strategist. You know, a lot to encompass when you think about it people at home might be thinking all right so what does that really mean let's break it down <laughs> what is a life and business strategist well a life and business strategist is a person who comes into your life to help coach you through it basically uh, and for those people who would like to start a business or who is already in business it's a person that will help to give them strategies on how they can basically level up in their business a lot of times people go into business and they don't necessarily have a plan mm -hmm. so it's great to have First someone thing. there <laughs> yes it's great to have someone there that's going to help um, hold you accountable number one give you the support that you need and also give you a lot of the different strategies to help you um, get to the next level in your goals that is amazing um so it's somewhat different from just a business coach yes. whereas you encompass a little bit of everything i think that it's important because if your life is messed up <laughs> it's going to trickle down into your business and for someone like i i focus primarily on the business side but i tell all my all my clients if your life is messed up then it's going to trickle down into your business means that you're not going to necessarily be able to level up so we have to fix what's going on there in order for it to manifest in the business world and then when you're dealing with life strategies you're talking about the entire life process so we're talking about whether it's spiritual whether it's personal whether it's with a relationship with you know your spouse relationship with your child with your parents something dealing with your you know education mm -hmm. socially so we try to deal with all aspects of life not just you know just throwing it out there to the wind but I really give them to say well let's do an incomplete life plan I want to see what your goals are for the rest of your life and see how that manifests into your business how does that you know how do we how can we connect the two that is amazing yeah. um when you look at it from that aspect you know sometimes a lot of times we have personal issues that, like you said, trickle down. Sometimes, you know, an ill parent or issues with children or anything that could be going on. It could be a relationship issue and it stops your focus or you have yes. to, it takes time away from you trying to, we all, you know, oh, I really want to go back to school or I really right. want to do this, but life got life in the happens. way. Life happens. Life happens and life is real and it gets in the way and you get derailed certain things so I guess that's great yeah. where, where you would come in and kind of help us get back on track um, absolutely and hold you accountable a lot of times we um, don't have someone there to hold us accountable for the things that we say that we want so I come in and try to give you an idea of is this something that you really want is it a true goal? A lot of times, we, you know, especially at the beginning of the year, you have those New Year's mm -hmm. resolutions. <laughs> we all have those New Year's resolutions. And I say, is that, is it realistic? So we go through the SMART goals. Um, is, it, is it specific enough? Or are you just saying, mm -hmm. well, you know what? I want to be a millionaire. Okay. When do you want to become this millionaire? You know, is it in five years? It is in three years. Is it in one year, 10 years. When do you want to become a millionaire? What plans do you have in order to become this millionaire? So you have to be specific and you have to be realistic in your goals. So I make sure that we come up with strategies. If you want to be a millionaire, that's fine. But we have to make sure that we put the plans in place so that you can, so that you can get there. Wow. Okay. So you've actually set up millionaire plans and have strategies that are realistic that are realistic that are realistic so you know you basically have to say these are my goals and work your way backwards and again throughout the entire life process so which brings me back to that you know the original point so if you want to be a millionaire you have to take into consideration 
How are your kids going to be affected? How is your family going to be affected? Um, are you becoming a millionaire with your nine to five job? Or is this something that you, you. Mm -hmm. want to start a business? Um, is the nine to five your hustle? Or is the business your hustle? Are you planning on having the nine to five, you know, throughout the duration? Or do you want your business to flourish and become the nine to five, you know, become the primary um, breadwinner, basically? Um, what other issues or what might be preventing you from making that million dollar, you know, from hitting that million dollar mark? Do you need to go back to school? Do you need a higher education? What are those things? Is it assets that are going to get you there? Um, what are the liabilities that might come up, um, that you might come across? So these are all different things that you have to think about, and a lot of people don't necessarily mm -hmm. do that. They just say, well, I want to become a millionaire, <laughs> and that's it. I'm going to become a millionaire one day. <laughs> what's okay. the rest of it exactly what's the rest of it so a lot of people like vision boards and stuff like that and that's great for those people who are visionaries but I like to have stuff written down on paper mm -hmm. but I also like to talk through it make sure that you have someone there holding you accountable on a regular basis not someone who's you know just your friend and be like oh so how's it going with that goal no you got to be specific so what are you working on today how is that going to help you get to your goal? Um, are you stick? Are you staying focused, mm -hmm. or are you losing focus and getting distracted by social media and all these other different things? And how can I help you get back on track? Oh my goodness, um, that's a lot to take in, and just kind of running through my head. I'm thinking about certain things because sometimes I do write stuff down, I do make a plan. <clears throat> But then sometimes it, it can be a little bit difficult on the accountability part because mm -hmm. sometimes we don't want that. It's easy to have a yes friend. Yes. But when you've got that person kind of there, it could get a little sensitive because we mm -hmm. don't like to hear that we're not doing right. We mean to do right, but it doesn't always happen. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's really important. So how did this all get started for you? How did you get to this point today where you decided this is a career for you? Wow. Well, <laughs> I've been helping people for a very long time. Um, I started out with a nonprofit. Well, I didn't start out with a nonprofit, but I have a nonprofit, the Misunderstood Youth Development Center. And through that organization, I was helping a lot of youth. And in helping the youth, I started helping their parents. I realized that you can't really help the youth effectively without merging and bringing in the parents. It was starting to become ineffective. Mm -hmm. So in helping the in helping the parents, I realized that this is coaching. This is really coaching, and it was something that I really enjoyed doing. Uh, when I see the look on their face when they reach a milestone or when they started changing their behaviors, mm -hmm. that's when I realized this is what I have been born to do. And basically from there, I said, you know what? I'm going to continue doing it. And then that's when I, I wrote my book, Losing Love, Having Faith, and Finding Hope. And I started doing parent coaching. And then some of the parents were saying, well, I want more for my life. I want to mm -hmm. start a business. I want to become more financially free, you know, have financial freedom. And they wanted to do all these things but didn't know how. A lot mm -hmm. of them did not have a clue as to how to start a business. And that's how the business strategy part came into play, teaching them how to, you know, do simple things as in getting their EIN number, um, the LLC, you know, mm -hmm. just incorporating, starting at the basic points and then walking them through the process of what's your mission, what's your vision, uh, what are the purpose. What is, what is the purpose of this business? What kind of products and services do you want to have in this business? What is your branding strategies? What is your marketing strategies, your sales strategies? Those are all the different things that um, me as a, a, a business strategist, that's what I became known for. Oh, my goodness. And that's, that's awesome that you've Thank actually you. been able to put all that together. Um, and there's still people. I, I meet people all the time who are like, I'm starting my business. And they have a lump of money, and they're about to, and I, and I could just kind of see, because <laughs> I'm like, don't, don't do that. Yes. I'm like, before you jump into something, like, even myself, I may have ideas, but I think I need a little coaching to fine tune to make sure that you don't just blindly go into something. Absolutely. So I think that's really, really important. But we'll take a quick break. We'll be right back, and when we come back in, we'll definitely continue the conversation. Wonderful. Great material, Tara. We'll be right back. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. Stay with us.
back. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. I'm Lydia Patel, sitting here with Terrell Ebony, life and business strategist. Yeah. Almost a specialist, but you're a specialist yes. in this. You know, mm -hmm. this is definitely your forte. Um, so before we took the break, we're definitely talking about how to really kind of put everything together. Um, so kind of walk us through a day in the life when you actually sit and do consultations with somebody. Oh, wow. Well, it depends on where they are um, in their life. But let's say I get a brand new client uh, and they just started their business. The first thing that I do with all my clients is we sit down, we have an assessment and I get to know everything about them, whether it's in, you know, both in their life and in their business. Where exactly are you? Where and where did you come from? I want to know everything. So we can't figure out exactly where you're going unless we know where you came from and where you currently are. So we go through all those different aspects. And as I was saying earlier, I give them a life plan. I want to know in each one of those areas, the eight circles of life, in each one of those areas, where do you see yourself in 20 years or depending on the age of, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. um, the age of the person, you know, where do you see yourself 20 years from now in each one of these areas? What are the goals that you have? Name at least two goals that you have in each one of those areas. So this way, when we start working together, I can make sure that you are moving towards those goals. That's mm. the first thing that we do. Um, after that, depending on where they are, I have a, uh, a master series, which is an eight week program called Embrace Your Purpose. And that's where we go into the, <laughs> the eight areas of creating a solid foundation for your business. So we're talking about, uh, creating the LLC, the EIN, the bank account. We're talking about just empowerment, accountability, motivation, productivity, uh, time management, organization, branding, marketing, sales strategies. We're hmm. talking everything from soup to nuts, um, content development. Where should you market? Um, whether it's emails, whether it's social media, whether it's live events, what type of marketing are you going to be doing and what works best for your business? A lot of times pe people come into, you know, people come in um, with me and they'll say, well, I see this working for this person and that working for that person. But one, their business is different from yours and you mm -hmm. have a different personality from them. So what works for them may not work for you. So I always say, don't worry about what everyone else is doing. You take a look at it. Keep it in your hand, but don't make it your one, you know, one to be all. Make sure that you do everything and make it your own. You don't want to imitate. You exactly. don't want to reinvent the wheel, but you want to make it your own. I tell people the branding aspect of it is very, very important. Everyone who knows me knows I'm the pink and purple girl. <laughs> They know me. I'm the pink and purple girl, and I'm the one that always usually has some type of crazy hairdo. It's kind of a little relaxed today, but usually it's out there, and people look for that. So that's mm -hmm. part that became part of my brand. People look for the what's the next hair, you know, the next mm -hmm. hairstyle, or what's the next pink and purple thing that she's going to wear or do. Um, I was saying to someone today as I was um, coaching them to become a potential client, I said, down to my books, when I sign, I sign in a pink or purple pen. Of course, if, you, if that is your branding. That's your branding. But a lot of people, she said to me, oh, my goodness, I didn't even think of that. So a lot of people don't really understand the importance of branding and the importance of making sure that you make it your own. And that's why it's so important to have, you know, a strategist in, in play. And even when you're talking about your life and things are happening, like I said to them, you know, if anything is happening to you that is going to prevent you from moving forward in your business, let me know. So if you lost your nine to five job, if your child is giving you some issues and you feel like pulling out your hair, you having some issues with your spouse, whatever that issue is, let's talk about it because I need you to be happy. I need you to be focused and not because I'm going to hold you accountable. So if I call you up and I say, well, what happened? And you say, well, I wasn't able to get to it. You have to be able to tell me, uh, give me a good reason because excuses don't go far with me. So <laughs> wow. that's it. Excuses do not go very far with me. So you have to be, because the first thing, if you say to me, well, I couldn't because I was going through X, Y, Z. Well, why am I now hearing about that? 